So tonight you join me for a bit of a different Astro adventure. Normally I'd be out somewhere dark in the moors, but I'm at Goodrich and Sam's in Paynton uh, because last night we had the Sturgeon moon, which was a 98% moon. Tonight is a 99.8% full moon. So behind me, I'm hoping that the moon will rise above Berry Head. Last night I'll put some shots off in a bit, but it was pretty good. I got it just the right, but I just predicted it wrong because I forgot to include how long it would take the moon uh, to rise up past the cliff. So tonight it should rise just slightly to the left of the headland and then hopefully, fingers crossed, it will be just above Berry Head just a few minutes after it rises. Um, so I've just got two cameras with me. Um, this one is my Z Nikon Z6, which I've got the Sigma 150 to 600 on. And then I've already started a time lapse on my D610, which has got an 85mm for a bit of a wide angle. Um, it's now 25 past, so the moon should be up in about five minutes. I'm hoping around where the cursor is on my camera screen, and then it should rise to where the lighthouse is shining. Um, so I'm going to start a time lapse on this one. There's more of a zoomed in, so a short, much shorter interval on this one than the other. And yeah, we'll see how that turns out. So I'm just setting the time lapse up, in all the white balance. Um, but if I zoom in, there's actually a lot of haze tonight, so it's very hard to get a focus. And the tower, the lighthouse, sorry, is just not sharp at all. Um, so I don't think the images will be a good, as good as last night. Plus it's a bit darker tonight, so you don't get that nice t um, twilight sky on the horizon. It's going to be very blue and dark, but we'll see. We'll see what happens. Uh, so the moon's up now, just behind me, you should be able to see that. Uh, it rose just over half an hour ago. Uh, I didn't have a chance to video or anything uh, during because I was constantly changing the ISO. Uh, the moon brightens up really, really quickly once it's above the horizon. Um, so it's kind of quite a hard contrast between the very dark surroundings as the sun set about an hour and a half ago. Uh, so it's quite challenging for most cameras to deal with. Luckily my Z6 is ISO invariant, so I can leave that quite a few stops below and then bring it up in post, um, which we'll see in a sec. Um, but yeah, hope you enjoyed the images. <laughs>